Margie McHugh. I'm the co-director of the Migration Policy Institute's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy. And I'm here today to talk about the winners of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prizes Program. This year, the Prizes Program is awarding three $50,000 prizes for exceptional immigrant integration initiatives and one corporate leadership award for exceptional efforts by a corporation to promote immigrant integration. The award winners were selected from a pool of several hundred applicants that were received from across the U.S. Uh, a national advisory board helped us in making the selection of the prize winners, and the prize winners received their awards at the National Immigrant Integration Conference in September. MPI's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy created the prizes program uh, back in 2008 with support from the J.M. Kaplan Fund. We and they wanted to raise up the incredibly important work that's happening all across the country to help immigrants and their children join the mainstream of U.S. society and also to build stronger relationships and stronger communities by bringing immigrants and the native-born together. I'm pleased to introduce one of this year's prize winners, Access. Arab Community Center for Economic and Social Services from Dearborn, Michigan. AXIS is, is the largest human services organization serving the Arab American community in the United States. Naturally, one of the core pieces and one of the core strengths of the organization is the wraparound services that they provide uh, from, a, from a human and social services perspective, helping immigrants get integrated into their local community. So that includes English language classes, workforce training, uh, health care services, help with housing, truly a whole set of services if individuals need them, if they need some of them, uh, but really focused on helping people make the transition and truly get settled and begin to lead productive lives here in the U.S. But when 9-11 happened, they also had to turn their sites nationally and figure out how to be a support for other groups around the country. One of the very important things that they've done is start a network of Arab American organizations from around the country. They're helping them build their capacity, uh, both in terms of the sorts of services they provide, but also the leadership they're providing and the relationship building they're doing uh, with native-born American communities and with other uh, immigrant uh, organizations. But one of the most exciting things uh, is that they also created the Arab American National Museum. The museum is a, is a greatly needed resource that really explains the background of the very diverse Arab American community here in the United States. From an E Pluribus Unum Prizes perspective, access is singular in part for its population focus on Arabs and on Arab Americans. It's also singular for its place focus in southeastern Michigan and on Detroit and on the Dearborn area. This area is, if you will, a reopened gateway to the United States. It's a place that's addressing immigration seriously and intelligently. Metropolitan Detroit has three times the number of immigrants as Cleveland. Uh, southeastern Michigan is home to a half a million Arabs and Arab Americans. And the two zip codes where access focuses most of its services have Medicaid, poverty, and dropout rates that are comparable to downtown Detroit. Access may have started small as a storefront in Dearborn 40 years ago, but it hasn't stayed small. It administers more than 90 programs and served more than 70,000 people in 2010-2011 alone. And let me tell you, this is an extremely sophisticated and mature organization. Its health clinic is associated with the World Health Organization, and its World Music Festival is associated with the world-renowned Detroit Philharmonic Orchestra. Obviously, there were just and so many things to be uh, uh, proud of and impressed by in the work that they were doing. So it's really a tremendous pleasure for all of us at the Migration Policy Institute and our advisory board for the prizes program to be able to present them with our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prize.